We are going there for more than one reason, Bunny. In the first place, we are broke. Not as broke as all that. We must practice economy. And a free dinner is not to be despised. In the second place, the International Sporting Club have honoured me by inviting me. It will be churlish to refuse. Yes, I know, but I feel more like a music hall than supper at Willis's. And honoured not only me, but you, Mr. A.J. Raffles, and guest. I am proud to be their guest. You should be proud to be mine. Well, of course I am. It goes without saying. But... But what, you monster of ingratitude? Oh, Raffles, don't say that, even in jest. I am far from jesting. I deliberately chose you to be my companion. Oh, Rob. Deliberately and with the utmost care? Only because the International Sporting Club doesn't allow women. As it happens. As it happens. Uh -huh. And because there'll be lots of boring speeches, you thought I could put up with them without yawning too obviously. No! Then why? The real reason for taking you tonight is that you, my dear Bunny, are my partner in crime. Is it crime tonight? No, not tonight. Oh, that's something. But you are no more a natural-born criminal than I am. You need to have your criminal tendencies refreshed from time to time. You need to have your feelings of greed and envy sharpened, whetted like a knife. Do I? And the International Sporting Club is the perfect place to do it. Everyone there is purple with wealth, dripping with masculine jewellery. They bathe in Napoleon brandy. They smoke cigars as long as your arm. They're the revolutionist's dream of the undeserving rich. And you hope to find a suitable victim among them. I hope to make you as eager for loot as I am. Raffles, you are incorrigible. The loot should turn out to be not only an opportunity, but also a challenge. Ah, my dear Bunny, that would be perfect.